Hi there. So today I'm gonna show you um, the Bluetooth wireless printer, thermal printer hack that I got. So you can basically print it, uh, print it from anywhere. Um, it's pretty useful for um, you know maybe uh, make a shopping list or you know some kind of memo, and you want to. Uh, Keep a memo in uh, your wallet. Uh, you want to print something quick, uh, you can print it from anywhere. Um, so anyway, this is a printer that I got from Adafruit. Um, you will have to find a power supply for it. This uh, it takes uh, five volts power, and uh, and then it communicates over the serial port. However, one of the problems is that. Uh, it uses a like, um, binary protocol, so it's not entirely, um, you know, easy to interface with. Um, so we'll 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 talk about that later. Um, so instead of connecting it to the serial port, which um, which requires a, a physical a physical connection, I uh, connected to a Bluetooth module over here. Um, which only requires t three wires to be connected: uh, transmit, received, and um, ground. Now, the Bluetooth model over here doesn't work by itself. It uh, it needs uh, three volts uh, power source. So um, this is a three volts power source from the, the zero to um, USB to zero adapter. And now I'm gonna show you how we uh, print wirelessly. Now, I'm 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 connecting to a Linux uh, laptop remotely. I'm not doing it from a Mac because uh, I, I have yet to figure out how do I do it in a Mac. But the idea is that at first we have to connect to the serial interface that the Bluetooth module provides so uh, with uh, Linux you can do it with RFCOM and uh, after configuring it right you just have to do RFCOM connect zero and it will create a um, zero interface on RFCOM zero therefore RFCOM zero now let's uh, move on to the next uh, terminal now let's try to uh, print out for example hello world or something like that now hello world how about hello world and then a new line and then goodbye world okay and after that, you have to pipe it to the serial printer. So serial printer has a switch uh, minus S here uh, to indicate that we are doing it a simple mode where we don't have to specify like the HTML um, header and everything. So, okay, let's do it. So sure enough, um, we have something here. Actually, we can do something more um, more complicated. Uh, for example, now we have a barcode printer over here. So let's try to print a barcode and then print a, an image. So this image is uh, a raw image uh, that is um, encoded with base 64. So you can easily use uh, you know transfer using the text protocol. Now let's uh, let's try to do it. So we just have to cat the print the, the text file to the serial printer and give it uh, where it needs to print to. So let's uh, let's let's see how it goes.
so you can see it's printing uh, an image very very slowly right now but uh, that's uh, that's the best we can do I guess let's uh, let's uh, let's try to get closer okay Okay, no. Alright, so here we go. Um, let's try to uh, scan this barcode. Um, let's see here. Barcode scanner. Let's see here. No. Yeah, you can see that it scans successfully. And so that's it. That's all I have today for you. Thank you for your attention. Bye.